Hello guys and welcome back on my channel. How have you been? In today's video I'm gonna show and explain you how to fly in Acromo the way I personally learned. When I first got into this hobby I used to fly my FPV drone in angle mode but I knew that angle mode wouldn't allow me to do all of the fun stuff that Acro mode can provide. So in order to learn acro mode, I jumped straight on a simulator since I didn't want to risk my drone. I remember at the very beginning I was unable to hit the first gate or even to take off in acro mode. And it was so frustrating. Frustrating at the point that I believed I would never learn acro mode. I would never be able to fly in acro mode. But then after some time I realized that I had misunderstood the concept behind agro mode and the way it works. So then once, once I understood, my skill improved a lot. So now we jump on the simulator. Uh, I show you how angle mode works and how agro mode works because it's very important to have this in mind before we jump onto, onto the three steps to learn agro mode. I'm using free rider as a simulator, but if you use a different one such as lift off or velocity drone, you can keep following along since the concept can be applied on any simulator. So let's begin. Here we are guys on, uh, on the free rider simulator. I'm gonna choose the dirt map as I found the, is mo the most suitable for learning acro mode. So let's open it. So here we are. Now we switch on to angle mode, which is the self leveling mode here. And we are gonna see how angle mode works. So let's fly. And basically with angle mode, if I pitch forward and then I let the stick go, the drone automatically stabilizes itself. And this works on any axis. Like if I pitch right, the drone goes right. As soon as I let the stick go, it stabilizes. And this thanks to the accelerometer. Uh, which keeps the drone always up into the air. But, which is help helpful, but it doesn't let you do the funny stuff that Agro Mode allows you to do, which is basically fly the drone 360 degrees in any axis, and you have full control of, the, of your drone. Okay, let's see Agro Mode now, quickly. Now, Agro Mode is on, and let's see. So now I pitch forwards and when I let the stick go, the drone doesn't stop leveling itself. You need to pitch backwards to stabilize the drone. So basically you have full control, you can do whatever you want and while fly flying you need to make some adjustment. Let's say you pitch right, the drone keeps drifting on the right, unless you pitch left and you can see, stabilize the drone. You can dive and then pitch backwards and the drone is gonna fly ahead. You can do rolls, flips, whatever you want. Anything in mind, it can be done using the Acro mode. Okay, now let's jump into the three steps. So step one, we fly a bit high, so we have no obstacles between us and it's much easier. And what we do in this step is just to fly the drone, to maneuver and see how the drone reacts according to the movement of our, of our sticks. So as we've seen before, pitch backward, uh, forwards, then you want to stabilize, pitch backwards, 
and if you move just the yaw stick on the right, let's say, then move left. Then if you combine yaw and roll together, let's say we go on the right, that's what the drone does. It moves on the right, now left, and in the drone is maneuvered smoothly. Then pitch backwards, the drone goes up. Forwards, the drone goes down. Left, you can roll. And practice some tricks, and so on and so forth. Step number two, we fly mid-air and we try to follow the track of the race. As you can see, the line is a bit more yellowish than green and we just follow it. Practice to stay on, on the line. And now that's what we do, just practice and go. Okay, let's jump to step number three. So step number three, we try to fly through the gates and as close to the ground as possible. And this just practice. If you <laughs> miss a gate, just fly back and go through it. If you feel the drone is too close to the ground, pitch backwards and give a bit more throttle. If you feel the drone goes a bit too fast, throttle down. And try to hit all the gates. If you cannot, it doesn't matter, just keep practicing. If you miss a gate like this case, just fly back and go through it. So, at the end of the race, you feel you have gone through all of them and you didn't leave any behind. And that's all. So once you reach the step number three, you should be able to do a pretty good job at the first go. Then obviously more practice, more <laughs> better you're gonna become. That's all. That's it for today, guys. I hope the video has been as easy and clear as possible and has been helpful to some of you. Thank you for watching. If you want to leave a comment, ask some question, leave a like to the video. And if you want, subscribe and we will see you at the next one. Bye.